All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wet, this mysterious JG. We are fighting our way through this reasonably recent game, which proved that, you know, a fun game, which doesn't try to do much more than have a sexy heroine and some cool music and just general badassery, is quite capable of being a kind of a commercial failure, especially if... Um, it gets gutted by EA. I do remember this game being marketed a little bit when it came out. I'm not quite sure why it was such a phenomenal failure, but you it seems like these days you really do have to either be attached to an already established franchise name or just market the shit out of something for it to be a success. So it's very sad, folks. But this is a this is I think a fun little self-contained game that uh, not a whole hell of a lot of people seem to know about. So I hope you have enjoyed being exposed to Ruby. <laughs> exposed Ruby and her hot nakedness because you've been exposed. Anyway, uh, how the hell am I supposed to get over to that? Uh, I guess there. Oh, I've got to get up on this tower and zip line across. All right, so let's go back over. Why did it drag me over here to get the shotgun ammo? And now I have to come back in here to. Blah. This door's shut, so never mind. I can't just go in there. I've got to get to it from here some way. Is this something I can climb? No. There's a zip line up there that leads into the shotgun challenge area where Doc Hendricks will like coach the Hardy Boys while they job to Vampire Edge and Christian. That's the kind of show shotgun challenge used to be. Son of a Why don't you just shoot yourself? Save us all some time. Bitch, jeez. Alright. Yes, thank you. Jump to higher ledges. Good idea, game. Now I've got a different challenge I've got to do. This may be the only chance you guys get to see the shotguns in action, since I prefer to use the guns that don't have unlimited ammo. So. Alright, I did what you said, game. You even checked off the damn green marker, so. Oh, i got to press Y? Okay, well you didn't tell me that before. It's the same as before. It's probably a different course. I don't even have infinite ammo for it here. I figured I'd have infinite ammo for it in the obstacle course, but apparently not. Oh well, it's already screwing up. No, that's not what I meant to do at all. Crap. No, I have to hit that thing or it doesn't count, I don't think. So I definitely need the pwns the Time bonus from that because I totally screwed up. Okay, I didn't really see where the targets were that time, so. Again, I didn't see where the targets were, so I didn't want to start shooting at them. And I totally missed the thing you're meant to jump on here, I think. Uh, it's taking me forever. Damn it. I don't even care about shooting stuff right now. Although now I'm going to start shooting again spontaneously. Can I sword hack this thing? No. Perhaps it's possible, but I can't do it correctly. Huh. 
Damn it. This thing had better be over soon, because I'm about to run out of time. I really don't feel like doing this again at all. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? I'm gonna run out of time! I hate this part of the game. A lot. I was supposed to somehow get up on top of this thing. This would be a really good time to hit some of these damn targets. Challenge failed, because you suck. Ah. Freaking targets didn't come out and do the thing or I could hit them with the thing. Well, at least it's not going to make me find the entrance again. I swear to God, the game starts when I finish the shotgun challenge. I mean, they start telling me what's going on. We already saw the credit sequence. Okay. Oh, crap. Do I have to get anything up here? Did I miss anything important? No. I just blew my chances of getting through this thing on time, but... So you don't get anything for shooting at that primary target. It's only the ones that you manually aim at, which makes sense. Why would the game reward you for just, like, letting Ruby shoot for you, but... time, I think, despite fucking up early. They sort of gotta look for where the targets are going to be before they pop up. By the time I didn't see them at all. But I got them anyway, ultimately. So where are they gonna pop out from here, hmm? I don't think I ever saw them. Maybe you noticed where they were, folks. I didn't. Something cost 52 cents. Could it be Ruby's love? No, she is not a 52 cent whore. I'm just ignoring that one because I couldn't immediately spot where it was going to be. I've seen where they are, it's probably too late. Yep. The real key here, of course, is going to be to not miss that one jump, whatever the heck it was. after being all frustrated before. I didn't quite make a medal, though. I thought I was going to make a medal. I really did much better that time. <sighs> These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And someday soon, these boots are going to walk me up towards boots. Humans, better be prepared to kill. Here we go. Thank you, soundtrack, for being all Hispanic. -y. Now that guy's a German cowboy, folks. I know it sounds strange, but he is. I guess he'd be a Kua Jungen or something. It's Zer. Comet? What the? I didn't really couldn't read that. Zer Collector, I think his name was. There's Tarantula. 
These are characters who will not really get a ton of dialogue, Tarantula especially, but they will get My names. My name is William Hackers. Like this guy just did. And you may not be aware of this, but, but the you enclave... helped me a great deal in the past. The heart that beats in my chest right now is there only because of you. That's great, buddy. But I'm not going to wipe out the people that kept the wasteland. Want? My son Trevor. He's a good boy. Yeah, I've met him. Great guy. He's in Hong Kong. He's fallen in with a crowd of, well, for lack of a better word, undesirables. And it's taking its toll on him. And me. I want him out of that influence and brought back to the family fold. Can't do it. Sorry. Why not? A lot of reasons. First is, I hate to fly. And last I heard, Hong Kong's not all that drivable. We well, flew there before. I mean, wasn't that... You saved my life. Now I need you to save his. And I'll make it undeniably worth your while. I'm talking about whiskey. I'm listening. I've got coupons for whiskey. More coupons than you knew existed. So, how many points have I got now? I've done uh, Texas Hold'em. I didn't get any freaking points out of all of that crap. <laughs> angry. Very angry, folks. Very, very angry. Now I can get Shoot from Ledges, Rebound, a bunch of other crap. Now that stuff is mostly cheap compared to the... Pistol damage upgrades. I can increase my shotgun fire range uh, rate and stuff, but I'm not really going to use the shotguns. Uh, so probably the smartest thing I can do is just move along at this point, get on with the game. Um, but we're coming up on another... Well, I can play a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on my uh, sound file to see how much I've got recorded for each of these videos. But let's just uh, keep going. I am about to start a new chapter. It would be a really great point for, for... You know what? Yeah, this just makes way too much points. This is a very sensible place to... Excuse me. To stop the game. So I really should stop. But no, no. I, I'm going to continue on, if only because I think there might be one more plot sequence before we start playing the game proper again. We'll see in a second. I might be completely wrong about that. But yeah, more plot stuff. There's the shadow of a plane. There's a chick who doesn't like flying, but she didn't have to drink drugged milk to get on the plane like uh, Mr. Seat would. Ming, the Merciless. I'll put your things in your room. Then we can get started. Oh. Hey, Ruby. Ruby, come on. Zian, this is some dipshit plays video games all day. Don't we'll worry about G. You'll come around. Oh, G. In the meantime. Here's what I found out about this Akers guy. He's a heavy hitter in the import-export industry. He either owns or has connections in ports all over the world. Because of this, he's managed to have a stranglehold on the designer drug market in most of Europe and Asia. He has a son named Trevor. Yeah, I've met him. Well, What's the when his father dies, like a he's next in guy. line to inherit the family businesses, both the ports and the drugs. What's he doing in Hong Kong? Drumming up his drug business. Word is, he's been making a lot of noise over there. And he doesn't do it alone. He's, he's not really doing me. anything. He's just kind of not standing there while other people do stuff. And not afraid to push their weight around to protect Trevor. It's not going to be easy to get him. Any idea where he is right now? No. Unless you're on the inside. That information's privileged. Then I guess I need to talk to someone on the inside. You need to talk to Rat Boy. You know Rat Pink? I mean, Rat Boy? So, I guess we're off to find Rat Boy, folks. That's... Rat Boy sounds like a quite an upstanding sort of chap. Can't imagine that uh, we'll have any trouble once we track down the elusive Rat Boy. Yeah? Have you arrived yet? I'm here. The place looks like it's ready to collapse. That's the way Rat Boy likes it. It keeps people who shouldn't be there out. Right. I gotta go. But no, I wasn't done talking to you about Rat Boy. I've got many more important things to tell you about Rat Boy. Alright, folks, well, that's gonna be it for this video. Um. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're off to find Rat Boy, folks. Sounds like it's gonna be quite the adventure. Um. 
Malcolm McDowell has uh, hired us to go find his son, Trevor Ackers. And uh, if you can't trust Malcolm McDowell, who can you trust? It's like, my son, Trevor, he's a good boy, but he's just not pulling his weight in the enclave. I need you to find him, and then I need you to find me something to be sick in. I'm uh, confusing uh, Fallout 3 with um, Clockwork Orange now. As a, uh, it's an easy thing to do. But at any rate, folks, that's going to be it for this video. When we come back, we're going to have to track down Rat Boy. So, um, hope you join me for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.